Hello everybody, Johnny here. Let's make a game together. For this game we will need some paper. We will need some markers as well. It'd be good to have some colors. We will need some playing pieces. I'm using dimes and pennies for this game. And we'll need some playing cards. Now I'm going to pull cards from two decks. And the cards that I pull from the two decks are the twos, the threes, the fives, the sevens, and the jacks. Now jacks are wild, but they can only be twos, threes, fives, or sevens. So I do this from two decks of cards. We'll mix these together later. And what else do we need? Oh, we need to have a bear. So let's get started. Put the coins away right now, and we'll use the colors later on as well. So let's get started drawing. What I want to do is start up here, and I want to draw a curved line from about right here, making it a little woggly, but then curving it around, bending it down like this, and maybe spilling out this way. And from this, I want to start another line about right there, making it a little wide here, and then really wide down here. And maybe we'll put a little island in the middle here. And maybe another one down here. That looks good. Let's make some hills over here. Maybe some lower hills too. And then maybe some mountains back here. Some high peaks. Maybe some more over here. And I always like to have clouds in, so let's go and put a cloud here, big cl puffy cloud, and another one over here. That's a good start, but I need some other lines in this to help me with my game. First one I'm going to make is right here, and I'm going to bend this line starting from the river and move it up to there. And on the other side I'm going to do something similar, about from right here curving away, and maybe one last one right here. That looks great. So what I think this game needs now is some numbers. We like games with numbers. Let's go ahead and put a 4 right here, and then maybe a 6, a 9, and a 10. And maybe here we'll put a 14, a 15, a 21, a 25, a 35, and lastly, in this corner, a 49. In this space here, let's start with the number 8, and then add a 12, an 18, and a 20, and then a 27, a 28, a 30, and 42, and down here, 45, 50, 63, and three more numbers, 70, 75, and 98. Up here, let's start with 24, and then 36, 40, and 54, and then 56, 60, 81, and then three more numbers. 84, 90, and 100. And here, let's put four numbers. 32, 48, 72, and 80. And down here, just two numbers. Let's put 64 and 96. Those are the only two for that section. Now we have a couple last things to add before we play our game. One is that we're going to put numbers in each of these sections that refer to points. All of these numbers up here will be worth one point when we start the game. Down here, all of these will be worth two points. And here, all of these will be worth five points. And here, they will be worth ten points. And here, these will be worth 15 points. And what's the name of our game? Oh, 
name of our game is Gold Rush. And in this game, you're trying to claim these numbers using factors, prime factors, to find 63 or 30 or 18, and remembering which ones are worth more than others. If you can claim 64 and 96, those are worth a lot. 10 and 9, not so much. Now let's start our game. Might have to move our friend here a little bit over. Our friend the bear will keep watch as we play. We need to have room to lay cards out over here. But first, we need to put markers down for each of the players. In this game, one player is going to be called Copper, even though Copper is looking for gold. So Copper is putting down all these pieces here to help mark claims. And the other player, using the dimes, we'll just call Silver, even though Silver is looking for gold as well. So each of them have 10 markers. The game is played until all 10 markers are used by each player. And after all 10 markers are used by each player, then you can count up the score. It'll make sense in a moment. The next thing we need to do is take the cards. Right now I have them separate, but I'll need to be shuffling them. So I'm going to shuffle them really, really well. So I'm going to deal out nine cards over here. Three and Jack. Remember, Jack can be two, three, five, or seven. Two, two, a five, a seven, a five, a seven, and another Jack. Now, Copper is trying to make any of these numbers using these cards as factors. Now, the points matter in that these numbers take two cards. So, two times three makes six. These cards take three cards, so it's worth two points. So 2 times 3 is 6, times 2 is 12. These will take four cards, so five points for four. These numbers take five cards to make any one of these numbers. And guess how many it takes for 64 or 96? Yeah, it will take six cards to make either 64 or 96. So Copper's looking at all the cards, thinking of what's the best play. So Copper looks and says, you know, I like the Jax's twos. So I'm going to play 2 times 2 is 4 times 2 is 8. 8 times 2 is 16. And then 16 times 3, what is that? Oh, it's 48. So Copper is going to make a claim on 48. And that will be worth 10 points at the end of the game. We're going to take these cards away. Now we could play one of two games. You could play where Copper keeps going until all the possibilities of the cards that are out here are played out, and then it becomes Silver's turn. The other way to play is Copper's played one claim, now it's time for Silver to play, but Silver will need new cards, so we'll put out cards for the missing spots. Now these are looking very similar to before, but we're not going to be able to play 48 again because that's already been played. Silver has a different play in mind. Since we can't play what Copper just played, Silver's thinking this could be a 3. And 3 times 3 is 9. 9 times 2 is 18. 18 times 2 is 36. What else can we do? If we take 36 and we double it again, what number do we get? Oh, Silver's going to play 72. And that's going to be worth 10 points. We'll take these cards away. Good plays for both of them so far. Let's put out new cards. Copper has an idea. Copper likes the number 8. And 2 times 2 times 2 makes 8. And 8 times 7, 8 times 7 makes 56. So Copper is going to claim 56, which will be worth 5 points. We'll take these cards away. Let's put new cards down. Another Jack, a 5, another Jack, and a 3. Silver's turn. Silver likes threes. So Silver's going to play three times three times three. So three times three is nine, and three times nine is 27 times three more. And 27 times three is 81. 
So Silver is going to take the 81 right here. We'll take these cards away and replace them. Oh, sevens can be difficult. We'll work with them, though. Silver's looking at the sevens and says, I can do something with a seven. The sevens can be seven times seven, which could make 49. 49 is not a great number, only one point. But if I multiplied that 49 and doubled it, seven times seven times two, 49 and 49 is 98. And so copper takes the 98 for two points. And some of the sevens go away. Lots of fives left. Let's replace those cards. Silver's turn. Silver likes three times three, likes the threes. Three times three is nine, and nine times seven, what's that? Oh, 63. So two more points for silver. Taking these away, let's replace them. Copper is not seeing much here. So many fives and sevens, so what is possible? Well, copper could play five times seven to make 35, or five times five to make 25, but any other, other combination is just gonna to be too much because the greatest number is 100. So copper decides to play five times seven and take the 35, even though it's only worth one point. We replace the two cards. Oh, those are good cards. Silver's turn. Silver decides to play five times five is 25 and then triples it. 25 three times is 75 and takes this spot. Taking these away, we'll replace the missing cards. Three and a jack and a two. What's possible now? Copper decides to play five times five is 25, double it and double it again. 25 doubled is 50 and 50 doubled is 100. That's a great play. And so copper puts a place piece on 100. That'll be worth five points. It'll be Silver's turn now. So I'll replace the missing cards. A jack, a jack, a two, and a two. Those look like very good cards. What will Silver do? Silver tries to make the most of the twos. So two times two is four, times two is eight. Eight times two is 16. 16 doubled is 32. Is it possible? Is it possible? 32 three times. 32 plus 32 plus 32. Oh boy, silver makes a big move. 32 three times is 96. That will be worth 15 points. What a great play. This is the game Gold Rush, and for this game you need some paper, something to write with, some playing cards, two, three, five, sevens, and jacks. Jacks are wild to be two, threes, fives, or sevens. Some playing pieces, and what else do we need? We need to have a bear. Hope you enjoy this game.